hello everyone how are you as you know we are doing symmetry analysis for differential equations and uh, in today's lecture we will see that how we can use the given Lie group to find the infinitesimal transformation students in my previous lecture i have explained that how we can find the infinitesimal transformations by using the generalized form of a Lie group now students as you know we are working in ordinary differential equations so uh, we have two formulas for finding infinitesimal transformation and these are given in equation number two and three that is we can find capital x in this way and the capital y by partial y bar by partial epsilon at epsilon is equal to zero now students uh, by using your equation number one and two you can write capital x of x y is equal to now you have to take the partial derivative of x bar with respect to epsilon and it will become equal to like x will be treated as a constant so i can write x as it is and the derivative of cos is minus sign so we will write minus sine of epsilon minus as it is y and because y is treated as a constant because we are taking the partial derivative with respect to epsilon so the derivative of sine epsilon will be equal to cosine of epsilon at epsilon is equal to zero now students if you substitute the value epsilon is equal to zero in this equation then you will get capital x of x y is equals to minus x sine epsilon means sine zero will be equal to zero minus y and cos epsilon is e uh, cos zero is equal to one so you will get minus y so the value of capital x of x y is equals to minus y in the similar way uh, you can write capital y of x y now take the partial derivative of this one with respect to epsilon so you will get minus y sine epsilon minus y sine epsilon plus x into cosine epsilon at epsilon is equal to zero in the similar way when you use the value of epsilon is equal to zero here you will get capital y of x y is equals to x because sine zero will be equal to zero and this will become equal to one so the answer would be x so these are your required infinitesimal transformations okay now students in the next lecture we will discuss that if we had the infinitesimals x and y then we can recover recover the given Lie group from the uh, from which they came okay because here we are given the Lie group but if we are only given this information that you have x and y then we can also recover this Lie group and we will see it in the next lecture now this is all about this lecture thank you so much